All right, Blake, uh, you sat there through the whole preseason bowl. You saw your name come up at number six. What's your initial reaction to that? Uh, you know, after our performance last year, it was uh, somewhat expected. But um, also, I feel like every year is a new year. And uh, I think we've prepared uh, like one of the best in the nation. And uh, I think now it's time we have to go out and prove that, that we can compete in this conference and, and hopefully go on in, in the playoffs and, and do the same. Last year was last year, but I asked Coach, I don't think they saw the best Angelo State football team out there, albeit you were in a sling for three-fourths of the season after those first five games. Yeah, you know, that was, that was a pretty unfortunate deal. But, uh, you know, there's a plan for everything. And uh, I, feel like, I feel like we got a lot of experience last year with uh, some of our younger receivers getting some experience with Dakari out. And so that's going to be good getting him back. But, um, you know, it, it probably wasn't the best of Angelo State, but, but I feel like this year if we can stay injury-free, injury then, then you will see the best. And playing off of that, you know, now you've had a full cool year with Coach Wagner. What does that help? You know, how does that help your guys' confidence? You know, it, it's huge. Uh, Coach Wagner is a great leader. Uh, we, we've done a lot of things over the offseason. We've... Uh, established a leadership council where we have a group of 10 to 11 guys on that council that uh, we did kind of training session on just leadership and things like that. So we did more of the talent. I don't feel like is the issue on this team. I feel like uh, we have plenty of talent to, to uh, compete in this league. But we do, um, last year we did lack some leadership in areas and, and I feel like that, that issue was addressed and we'll be better for it. Can this team win the Lone Star Conference and coach a second year? Absolutely. I, I mean, uh, our guys, uh, we expect to do that. Uh, every year we expect to win and compete. And uh, if, we, if we don't do that, it will be, to me at least, it will be a, a, a failure. And so uh, I think if we go into uh, every game uh, expecting to win and knowing that we can do it, uh, then, then hopefully it will happen. What are what is some of the groundwork you hope to lay come two days here in a couple weeks? Uh, you know, we, we really need to uh, make sure that everybody's straight on the playbook. Uh, I think uh, the first couple games, that was the biggest issue, is we, we weren't as solid on the playbook as we should have been. But again, with uh, going through spring ball and, and most of last year towards the end, we didn't have nearly as many buses as we did at the beginning. And so that's going to be big, but also uh, just making sure the camaraderie uh, around, around the uh, – the locker room is good, and, and that we uh, we know that we can win because we have the talent. What's, what's going to be like come play Valtosa State at Cowboy Stadium in Arlington? Oh, it's going to be exciting. You know, our guys are looking forward to that. And uh, anytime you get to play in a venue like that, you get excited. Uh, play many players from the NFL uh, obviously have been on that field, and, and so um, that's a goal that a lot of guy, a lot of our guys have is to make it to the NFL. And uh, so that'll be a good a good showing for them. And uh, also, we just uh, that'll be a good measuring stick. You know, Valdosta has been a, a solid team throughout the past decade, and uh, we we feel like if we can go go in there and compete, that'll be a good way to show how good we, we can be. Last question for me, Coach Wagner. Talked to him the other day. Talked very highly of you being a leader on the field. Not not so much of a pressure thing, but how do you carry what he says and, and kind of live up to his expectations of being this team's overall leader? Absolutely. Uh, I think a quarterback is expected to be the leader. And uh, any time that uh, your head coach is behind you, you know, that's always a good thing. And so uh, I feel like uh, that that's that's a good attribute to have. But also, there's there's many other leaders on this team. Uh, Austin, uh, Alvin Johnson, uh, Dakari. We've got a bunch of guys that that have some experience and, and are solid leaders for our team. So um, that's going to be a good uh, solid base for us.